Hello everyone, my name is Tom Sweeney and I'm the writer and director of Old Moon. Old Moon follows the story of a father and son separated by grief and tragedy and the perilous journey they both embark on to get back to each other. Amidst a spree of murders in a small town, Aaron, our young protagonist, flees into the woods in search of his missing cousin. The boy's father groups together a motley crew to help find his son before it's too late. Throughout their journey, each of them realizes that evil awaits them the further they venture into the forest. Something or someone awaits them. I vote we go back to the slaughtered lamb. Yeah. Moralities are tested and lives are lost. What are people really willing to achieve their goals? If you are a lover of the supernatural and horror genres, then this film is for you. <laughs> Back in 2020, I graduated from the Fitarea Level 5 Diploma in Screen Production course and have since worked on several films, TV shows and short films, as well as wrote and directed my own short film, Willowstone. It is my great pleasure to reveal our cast. Returning from his excellent performance in Willowstone is Eric I. Irby, playing the role of Aiden. Alongside him will be the esteemed Mark Hedler, who will be playing the priest, Raylan, an aging man who is desperate not to let his fear control him. The scale of this film is a huge step up for all the cast and crew, and we need your help to bring it to life. All your donations will be going towards food, travel, accommodation, as well as hiring top-of-the-line camera gear, lighting gear, and of course, bringing our monster to life. To all our potential backers, we want to give you confidence in our project and show you just what we're able to accomplish with the Boosted Campaign. Please enjoy this small snippet from Willowstone. And before you go, I just want to thank you for taking the time to look at our project. Thank you. Jack, you know I'm here. If it's money you're after, I can get you double what they're offering. This is not about the money, Jack. I'm not here for the bounty. What happened, Jack? That was our one rule. Our one rule to keep us grounded. How did you know? Where it travels fast. Why do you think the bounty is so high? I didn't mean to. What happened? Me and a couple of boys, we've been scouting out this place for a couple of days. Fancy bank in a big, hotshot town. Oh, this place was ripe for the picking. We made our move, it should have been simple. As soon as we ended, they dropped to their knees like they wanted to kiss our boots or something. They reached deep into their pockets and pulled out whatever those rich bastards could find. All except one. Some woman. She just stood there tall and proud, like, like she couldn't die. So we demanded that they hand over all their possessions, but she, she just wouldn't. So I, I shot her in the gut. I didn't notice a little boy was right next to her. I killed his mama right in front of him. Supposed to be a clean job. In and out before the law even knew we were there. But this woman, she just wouldn't listen. And I knew I brought the whole goddamn town on us. So I told everyone they had to move fast. I told them to grab whatever they could as fast as they could. But this kid, this fucking kid, he grabbed on me. And he's kicking, and he's scratching, and he, he just keeps shouting, you kill my mama, you kill my mama. And he wouldn't let us leave. And I was so hell-bent on getting the fuck out of there that I shot him without even thinking. Like he was nothing. And 
Now, I've killed a lot of people in my time. We both have. I would do anything to take this one back. That's why I'm here, Jack. To do right by that boy. There ain't a way you can take back what you did, but that don't mean I'm gonna let you burn for it. One more drink? It's time, Jack. How are you gonna do it? Get me to close my eyes? Am I gonna look at the flowers? Out of respect for our past and our friends. I'll let you go out fighting. <laughs>